Good afternoon and welcome to UTV Live. The next Prime Minister, Liz Truss, says she will deliver a bold plan to cut taxes and grow the economy. The Foreign Secretary won over 81,000 votes, while her opponent, Rishi Sunak, secured just over 60,000. Ms Truss will replace Boris Johnson tomorrow when he tenders his resignation to the Queen, becoming the UK's third ever female Prime Minister. I will deliver on the energy crisis dealing with people's energy bills, but also dealing with the long-term issues we have on energy supply. And I will deliver on the National Health Service. Well, parties here have been reacting to the news of the incoming Prime Minister. The leaders of both Sinn Féin and the DUP were speaking in Stormont in the last hour on what they believe are the important issues for Liz Truss. Chief among those um, is taking forward uh, the bill that will uh, provide uh, the basis for uh, a solution to deal with the protocol, uh, to remove the barriers to trade between Northern Ireland and Great Britain, to fully restore Northern Ireland's place within the UK internal market. What we need to see in terms of a priority from Liz Truss um, is that she starts to address these issues seriously because the Tories have failed workers and families and businesses throughout this cost of living crisis. We now need to see practical solutions in terms of the protocol. We now need to find ways to make it work. So Liz Truss needs to sit around the table with the EU and find practical solutions to give certainty to the business community here. While well, staying with the cost of living crisis and new figures show takeaway businesses here are under extreme pressure with 60 closing in just 60 days. That's around one takeaway closing every day, resulting in the loss of 600 jobs. As energy bills and costs soar, small businesses are calling on the government to help. In other news, a man is in hospital after being stabbed several times in North Belfast earlier. The attack happened in the Kerner Street area at around half past two this morning. Police are asking any witnesses or anyone who may have dash cam footage to contact them. Well, after a stormy night, the sun has reappeared. Let's see how long it's going to stay. Louise has the forecast. Forecasting a long, warm spell. UTV Weather, sponsored by Grant Heating. Hello there, good afternoon. Plenty of sunshine around today. Feeling quite warm and pleasant out there at the minute with light winds and temperatures reaching highs of 20 degrees Celsius. Winds will pick up though as we move through into this evening with thicker cloud and a band of rain pushing up from the south. That rain will move through leaving drier conditions by dawn. Temperatures tonight holding up at around 14 to 16 degrees Celsius. Staying quite blustery around the coast though. Tomorrow we'll get off to a dry and bright start. Plenty of sunshine developing into the afternoon. Always the risk of one or two scattered showers through the day but the winds will ease off with temperatures reaching highs of around 20 degrees Celsius. Forecasting a long warm spell. UTV weather sponsored by Grant Heating. Well that is the very latest. Paul and Sarah will be back later for UTV Live at 6. Until then you can keep up to date on our website. Just search UTV News for now. From all of us on the lunch team have a lovely afternoon. Bye bye. If you like...